a lack of plan leads to additional costs and time wasted. Sometimes people will come in and they just won't have a coherent idea of what they're trying to do, who their market is, who they're trying to sell to, those types of things. And inevitably design work can happen, but it certainly is much more efficient and much more cost effective to have a plan from the idea to the final product. Yeah. So if somebody does approach you, uh, you can give them the help with getting that initial plan formulated so they don't Absolutely. waste. In a way, you would say, gosh, if they want to waste time, that would that's just more billable hours. But you don't view it that way. You view it as we need to get from idea to a prototype as quick as possible. That's an overarching philosophy within the company, correct? Absolutely. I am happy to have fewer billable hours and more successful products than the opposite because successful products, successful projects will lead to more products and projects. Operating efficiently and helping companies and people turn their ideas into successful products as quickly as possible is our goal. The requirements of the product, in my experience, most often people come with a core idea. So there is a problem they have identified somewhere with something that they're familiar with. And they have conceived a solution to what that problem is. And most often people have a pretty good idea of what that core requirement is. So they want a widget that solves a particular problem where oftentimes it helps to work through and discuss is the tangential requirements beyond that initial core requirement. These are things like user interface. How are users going to interact with this product or device? Um, it's things like support for manufacturing. How are you going to build it? That's something that you want to think about ahead of time and make sure that you don't end up with a solution that costs a ridiculous amount of money to manufacture because no thought went into what that manufacturing process was going to be. You think about things like power usage, connectivity. Another part of the requirements is identifying what the future might hold. Oftentimes people have a core idea. Frequently, they even have some idea of what the future is going to be. We want to talk about that before we even design the first product, because there are things that you can do in that design process that will facilitate more easily adding additional features or additional modes of operation or whatever it might be. And so you. We want to understand that up front 